Hello everyone, it's me, Ico Fire, on yet another favorite levels of Spyro video. <sighs> Sorry it's been so long since I've done more parts to my favorite levels of Spyro videos. It's just that uh, recently I kind of accidentally deleted the previous videos I made on my favorite levels of Spyro off of my PlayStation 4, so then I had to remake it, and it was being a little poop, and, uh, you're making the videos too short, even though I selected them to be an hour long, or, or just not recording the actual video in the first place, so then I had to go remake all of those videos, uh, in the meantime, I was busy with well, uh, work and whatnot, and I also, as you can see, well, not see, or can't see pictures of, or whatever, I got a new game called Scratch Nutty Adventure, which you can see screenshots of. Uh, this one right here, it's, I think it's called Rapid Fire. And I got this one by complete accident. I got most of this. Um, most of these trophies by complete accident, actually. I was just playing the game and having fun and whatnot. And it was like, oh, you earned a trophy for, I don't know, just doing a bunch of random things, apparently. Anyway. So, for those who are interested in these videos, I will go show you what... You missed, or we missed, or everybody, everybody missed. Anyway, here we go. I think no one's seen this before. See, so yeah, this already took so long. A lot has happened since I made these videos. I even forget why I made them at certain locations, but... These are my favorite levels of Spyro, which is why I titled it that. Maybe on other video, maybe I'll do another video of levels I don't like, but the series is called My Favorite Levels of Spyro, so it would be kind of silly to pl play a level I didn't like. So here you go! This is part whatever. I'm probably not even going to give it a title. I mean, obviously I'll give it a title, but I'm probably not going to go part this, that, blah, blah, blah. Because this is a, actually going to be a lot of parts in one. In, in one, it's just, it's really... Whatever everyone's missed. <sighs> or rather, what my PlayStation 4 wasn't willing to record... Or I just didn't have enough time to do it all. Oh, and you can get up here, and I would have recorded myself flying up here, but it took me hours to get up here. Although it's possible, it's actually really, really hard. So I just kind of waited until I finally made it up the here and then recorded it. <sighs> my cat's sitting on my jacket. She likes my jacket. I honestly can't blame her. It is very comfy and warm. Cookie. Cookie, cookie. Oh! Did I startle you? Sorry, cookie. Okay. Whoosh. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I crash on purpose because I'm really, really fed up with how long something's taken. Or I just 
bump into things so many times I'm just like, well, screw it. I might as well just bump into this now and start over. <sighs> Ouch. Well, that was annoying. <laughs> Sorry if most of my videos has way too much talking in it. I just had a lot to say because I had lots on my mind and I don't know, I just tend to be the type of person to ramble on and on about things that probably do not matter. But either way, that's just how I am. <laughs> I try not to talk too much though because... I imagine it must be very annoying at times, especially when I'm talking in the middle of a freaking cutscene for crying out loud. Yeah, the I wish the super flame would work a lot better, honestly. It's supposed to hit things more head on, like some kind of flame power up a uh, heat sink of missile or just I don't know. More like some kind of missile-esque thing. And for some odd reason, it's not only skinnier than it's supposed to be, or I think it's skinnier than it's supposed to be, but it's just, it's just not so spot on. Like, it misses half of the time. And, uh, I find that very annoying. Okay, I'm going to straight up say, as much as I like these rings, which, once again, I do not record things in fa- Whenever I call something a favorite, I don't like to record something that's not my favorite because it kind of doesn't make sense. So I do actually really like this ring course. However, it does get kind of annoying and tedious, like, right there! I literally just missed one ri ring, <laughs> one gosh darn ring, and I had to start over. I knew I had to start over, that's why I've crashed on purpose. I mean, I still like it. I would like it a lot more if it wasn't for the fact that it's just, gosh darn, the turns are so tight and Hunter likes to go everywhere. And then there's that sun that blocks my vision, and then, oh my goodness gracious, don't get me started on how annoying the sun can be. <laughs> I mean, just because something is annoying to me doesn't mean I don't like it. That's why this is in my video, and it's part of one of my favorite levels, so I guess I might as well play it. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry you can't really see the numbers on it. I have a bunch of stuff in the table and I kind of didn't feel like removing it all for the sake of a video. Yep. You know, honestly, this list would be a lot bigger and a lot different if it wasn't for certain things that I have pet peeves about in this particular version of Spyro. But then again, it also will be a lot different in the original Spyro because the levels look so boring in that Spyro. 
I mean, I always liked the way the old Spyro looked and all that. It just, compared to the textures of, of today, it's just so bland, you know. That's why I, I probably wouldn't do the favorite levels the same. I very was very picky on the certain levels in the original because textures only good be so cool and the mini games are just so different uh the way they're I don't know designed or whatever I mean they're obviously the design the same way it's just I don't know something about how they're how you play the mini games and how hard or easy it is or sometimes laggy and slow it is now or uh was I guess or well Whatever, the, the mini games and stuff are so different, and in some cases, and read not, it's so annoying now. I kind of like just don't like the level anymore because I only like the level for that mini game, so yeah. Anyway, I still love Spyro and I still like all of the levels, they're just not all my favorite, and that's okay. <sighs> da sheep, da sheep, we burn. Da da. <laughs> Let's take it the. Sheep, sheep, good. That's how you get the sheep kebab trophy. Just burned into a bunch of sheep. I love kebabs. I don't know about sheep kebabs, though. But man, I always lo love the thought of having me a juicy kebab. <laughs> Sometimes I like the levels in, well, Eater Spyro because they're just so nice and peaceful. And Toys for Bob truly made these levels so much more beautiful and nice. That's why I specifically picked this version. Because I was just looking at it. It looks so great. I mean, it always looked great, but uh, it's just so well done and so beautiful and gosh darn it I love the dodge it's awesome the fact that they kept the dodge man you look at that so much fun and it can be so useful Oh. Okay. That's just plain rude. Dude, come on, man. Really? <laughs> Jerk. It's already been 13 minutes? How, phone? How? I only want this video to be a certain length, that's why I actually watching how long it's going as well as well myself recording this. <laughs> do 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 I could skip it, but what's the sense of recording my favorite level for about doing the entire level, you know? I guess I'm not probably not gonna fit all the levels in one video, but I will fit them as many as possible. <sighs> oh. 
hope and I've noticed lately that the shorter the video is, the quicker it is to upload to YouTube. No, I'm not so sure why. That's just how it is. If I, every time I make a video that's 20 minutes or longer, it takes like an entire day to upload. Sometimes it would take up to like, uh, almost two to three days to, to upload a video if it's like an hour or more. That's usually by accident. The longest I like to have my video to be 20 to 30 minutes, but remembering that each level of Spyro sometimes takes that long, or almost that long, it's kind of hard not to make <laughs> Spyro videos that long. And sorry, it's so blurry. I don't know why my phone does that. It just does not like recording things on screen. Anything that's on the TV screen is like, nope, I'm going to be fuzzy because I do not like that TV screen. <laughs> Zip. I love how when you kill things in Spyro, they just blow up. Or if we're talking Steven Universe, they poof. <laughs> Poof. Poof. I mean, honestly, Spyro was created a long time before Steven Universe even was thought of. So I guess you can say Rebecca kind of stole the idea, but I'm pretty sure she didn't know of Spyro when she thought of it. And I don't even know if Rebecca actually thought of the whole poofy thing, but or completely, but, or if she had help, but whatever the reason, just poofing alone isn't stealing it. Especially since it's a completely different, co different concept. Completely different things. I'm just saying, the whole uh, things you defeat exploding thing has been a thing in, well, other video games as well for a while now. It's just a, vi a thing in a video game, apparently, for something to blow up when they die in the game. <laughs> Especially if you're playing things like Call of Duty and you throw a grenade, obviously it's going to blow up. <laughs> and I think it's also because this game is originally made for kids. It's a lot more kid-friendly for something to blow up than to, like, spew things everywhere. Like, even just, just spewing green stuff for... I don't know. Other unnatural things. This is a little violent for kids. So they would rather things just dis poof and disappear. But I guess. Uh, and I don't mean, uh, when I say they, I don't mean the developers of Spyro in particular. I mean other companies too. Like, um, I can't think of any game in particular actually. But in most kids friendly video games, they just disappear instead of actually dying, which makes sense. I wouldn't want a, a little kid watching blood drip, drip everywhere. It's hunting. It's killing a kid. Just talking about killing a lot is just terrible. And I hope my video does not get demonetized. So anyway, yeah, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'd speak, I'm trying to see if I can still do this, like, glitch thing. Which, no, I can't. I've seen the whole process of it, and I know I can't anymore. But that's probably because Toys for Bob just decided to, like, block it off. with the seaweed? <laughs> Smart. Just, just, pa just literally patch up the glitch with seaweed. Bravo. <laughs> 
the 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 glitches is that if you like run across the ground all the way to the end, you're supposed to like face through it at a certain point, and then do like basically a swim in the air glitch, but it's underwater and it's upside down. But I guess you don't want to look at this much. People don't want to watch this much longer, so I'm going to skip it now. Jeez, that was actually a long one. Holy cow, I accidentally skipped through this. Oh, that's too important to skip through. Oh, jeez. Okay, this should be good enough. Yes, we know to, to ride him, blah, blah. I don't know why I like rings so much. I just do. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to call, call on anyone for stealing anything in something. Because whoever creates original ideas probably did not know that somebody else already did something similar. And it, do it doesn't matter. The point, the whole point is, I wouldn't say, say somebody made a pixelized pickaxe in a video game or TV show. That doesn't mean they're copying Minecraft. What if they, they didn't even know that was a thing and they just thought it was cool or anything? Actually, a lot of games have pixels, so I wouldn't be surprised if say there's mine in the game in the in the then the pixel happen to be pixels doesn't mean they're still in minecraft just happens Ooh. i was just making a steven universe reference slash joke okay anyway enough talking about that there's also another, well, most swim in the air glitches, if you were to swim up like that, high enough, you would eventually reach this parallel universe where you can fly and uh, swim through everything, which I probably already mentioned in another video, but... Basically, if you reach the parallel universe... Oh, this is a good time for a screenshot, I guess. If only the camera could actually focus. Anyway, so yeah, you go to this parallel universe where you can swim for everything, yada, yada, yada. But I'd be careful going back down from that parallel universe. Oh, by the way, so far, swimming the air glitches are only possible in... In... And the original spiral, but you can do similar glitches. I've seen them. But if anybody has a PS1 version of Spyro and go to basically any level in Spyro 2 or 3 that there's water, that means there's some way to do a swim in the air glitch. And when you can do a swim in the air glitch, you can either find these cookie cut things, which is actually. The actual thing Spiral goes through when he goes through portals is actually just some kind of editing process thing. And anyway, so the cookie cuts thing, they're actually really interesting. They look the same as portals, but we're about the rim on it and they're in the midair. There's that, and then there's this black speck. Watch out for the black speck. You go for the black speck, speck and you're swimming in the air. If you said person or, I don't know, alien or whatever, <laughs> finds this glitch, you'll just fall to your doom. I One time I did this, this swim in the air glitch in Dino Mines, and I went through this, like, mysterious portal... And when I came back out, I just infinitely fell to my death. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just warning anyone who were to 
do the Sword and Air glitch, or anyone who does already knows this, but basically you could risk crashing the, crashing the game if you, like, go to swim down for the parallel universe. Say you're already at the parallel universe, and you want to swim straight down. You can very well crash the game, which actually is really funny, because... Why is it crash the game? But the whole game wouldn't be actually be crashed. You'd just be frozen, and all of a sudden, um, random audio f- from the game would play. Like you, there'd be pr- the professor saying something, and then um, money bags and other characters. But it's actually really funny. <laughs> it's like the uh, cheat where you can like hear. There are different lines, but it's just random. It is, I guess it's just part of the glitch. But it, but when I last time I froze spiral like this, it'd just be <laughs> the random background characters talking. It's like what? Okay, back to what everybody probably wants to see or hear more than me babbling on about some glitch. <sighs> This level is actually really fun and really easy if you know what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, it's really easy anyway because that's how it's designed. But, like, if you don't hit him in the right spot, you don't get close enough, you just see, you, like that, you just miss him, which isn't so bad. It just makes the level a bit longer. But anyway. I love this particular fight because, well, no particular reasons, actually. I just have a lot of fun with it. Especially since it's ironic how Crush gets crushed. (laughs) His name is Crush, and he keeps getting crushed. (laughs) It's funny. I'm pretty sure it's intentionally there for humor, too. But, either way, it's so funny. Uh. Excuse me. You can't see it right now, but my cat's asleep. <laughs> oh, no. She kind of woke up. She probably heard me talking about her sleeping. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why, but I had to pretty much stop to get in to do that. He's almost done. There we go. I actually practiced this a lot and other levels a lot in the original before I got reignited, aka before it existed. Just, I don't know, just to, like, get better on him, because... What? Because I wanted to. <laughs> you know, I always wondered why he hates dragons so much. <laughs> oh, run away! So long, coward. <laughs> Yeah, right. Classic, classic villains always ordering their henchmen to fight for them because they're cowards. 
or just lazy and rich or something and just don't give a damn to do it themselves. Yeah, does anybody else wonder why Ripto hates dragons so much, or is it just me? Because I've wondered for years now what the heck is going on. Sorry about this. I don't know what's going on. Go oh, darn, darn you! Darn you! I'm going to skip this. Sorry. <sighs> anyway, as I was trying to say, I've actually been wondering for years as to... Yeah, wasn't we just at the other... Oh, I think... I might have accidentally went back. I don't know, but whatever. I was wondering for years as to why Repto hated dragons so much. <laughs> just like... Why is that? No one ever explained why he hates dragons so much. He just does. I guess because, like, they used to bully and pick on him a lot, a lot. Or he's like the people that hate rats. He just fakes their nuisance. But still curious as to why. And I kind of hope I'm not the only one, but... Oh, well. If only I could get a better screenshot. I mean, that wouldn't be a perfect screenshot. But my phone's just so fuzzy right now, it doesn't look as good. What I try to do is do something similar to the whole Toys for Bob screenshot and some of the sneak peeks of it. Oh yeah, does anybody think that mountain looks like the Grinch? Grinch's mountain? Because for some reason, whenever I look at that, I'm like, oh, that must be where the Grinch lives, right? If that were the case, that means the Who's must not be too fa much farther from here. That'd be nice, right? The Who's and the Grinch and whatnot in the same universe. It's screenshot time. Probably. Hopefully. Hopefully that was a good... A, a decent screenshot for somebody. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. 